So The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild just got updated to version 1.11 for both Nintendo Switch and Wii U. And as usual, Nintendo was annoyingly vague on what exactly it does, only saying that adjustments have been made for a more pleasant gaming experience. Which we're pretty sure as Nintendo speak for, hey, we finally fixed some of those frame rate issues. But to make sure, we tried visiting three different areas known for their frame rate issues in the Switch version of the game, both before and after the update to see if and how things have improved. So to start things off, we went to our favorite grassy field near the old man's cave on the plateau, which would randomly slow down before the update as you can see here. It wasn't horrible, but it was certainly noticeable. But after the update, it seems to be fixed, as we didn't notice a single issue of slowdown at all. No matter where we ran here or how we turned the camera, it was totally smooth. So, so far, so good. But what about elsewhere? For our second location, we ventured on over to the lakeside stable. Before the update, we can see that the game slows down noticeably as you approach the stable, followed by sporadic drops as you circle around it. But this time, after the update, we can see the issue hasn't been entirely resolved, as there's still some slowdown as you approach the stable and circle around it. Although, those frame rate drops do seem to be less severe in general now and last for shorter durations. Finally, we have the infamous Korok Forest, which has some of the worst consistent frame rate issues in the game. Now, before the update, we can see that it slows down right away as you begin to approach the platform with a master sword. And those frame rate issues persistently pop up as we circle around that platform. It's pretty bad. As for after the update, well, it looks pretty darn similar. It does seem to be a bit smoother as we approach the Master Sword podium, but once we got to it, the frame rates seem to exhibit the very same issues as before. However, if we go to the side-by-side -side of us rotating the camera slowly around Link, we can see that although the issues are similar, they're once again less severe after the patch, with the frame rate being a little bit less choppy compared to before. So there you have it, the frame rate in Zelda Breath of the Wild has definitely been improved. Now granted, it's far from perfect, but it does seem like the problematic areas have generally been smoothed out to be a bit less obnoxious than before. But hey, don't take our word for it, because here's all the footage one more time, but this time in a true side-by-side -side comparison. 